from Las Vegas, it's The Q. Cover EMC World 2016. Brought to you by EMC. Now your host, Stu Miniman. Welcome back to Las Vegas. This is Silicon Angle Media's production of theCUBE at EMC World 2016. I'm Stu Miniman with Wikibon.com. Happy to have on uh, a couple of partners. Uh, recently won the Distributor of the Year uh, from EMC. Uh, from Avnet, it's John Tonfat, uh, who is the Director of Supplier Solutions for the EMC part of the business, and Doug Sobieski, who's Financial Services Sales Executive with Avnet. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, so, thanks for, for having making us. the time. We yeah. really appreciate it. So, uh, first thing, I want to get your, uh, your view on the show. We say, you know, there's lots of customers that are here. They're going to labs, they're going to sessions. Yeah. Um, there's the partner ecosystem showing their new technology. EMC is there, but, you know, the, the, the channel is, I mean, a big piece. We've seen great changes in the channel. Um, John, maybe start with you as to what, what's the partner experience here at EMC World? I think there's a lot of excitement, right? Um, uh, Dell Technologies is, uh, is on the lips of every person I've talked to uh, here at, uh, at EMC World. So clearly, uh, it's, it's about opportunity. And, and I, would, I would just say that <clears throat> our EMC partners are very uh, excited to engage with Dell, and we're getting lots of inquiries from Dell partners who want to learn how to start an EMC business. So, that's where it's at. Yeah, and Doug, have you been to the show before? Or? No, this is my first time. All right, so so let's as a newcomer get your vibe. <laughs> it's uh, it's exciting. It's uh, it's 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 great to see everything that's going on in the industry. Uh, it's great to see the 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 uh, the recognition that Avnet's getting as well. But it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. All right. So speaking of recognition, John, you know, so, so some press releases, uh, some awards. You know, uh, to, to tell us what, what the news is. Well, I, I think the uh, <clears throat> the most exciting news is the fact that we won Distributor of the Year. Uh, and I think that speaks to a couple of things. It speaks to validation of the hard work that we've, uh, we've worked on behalf of our partners, right? So it's, it's all about partner enablement and getting them to revenue faster. And I, and I think the, the award speaks to the effort that we did there. Uh, relative to the press release, um, it showcases a solution that we put out. In fact, it's uh, an Isilon SD Edge uh, appliance, right, uh, where we integrate it with Dell servers. And I think that also speaks to the leadership that we, we innovate right along with EMC and make technology accessible uh, for our partners. Yeah, John, maybe it would be helpful to our audience that you know maybe knows kind of what a distributor is, but sure. kind of solutions and some of the pieces that, that Avnet puts together. You know, how's the business model changed a little bit and what, is, what does that mean? Right, um, <clears throat> so I, I think that uh, in the old uh, days where distribution was about stocking product and, and really about um, uh, financing products. I think distribution sort of 2.0 or distribution 2.5 is about how we help accelerate our partners' uh, transition uh, in, in terms of IT transformation, right? So we're all caught with how do we all speak and help our partners um, uh, make money and, and sell the solutions that continue to make them relevant. If I were to then describe what Avnet is today, is we are the single best enablement engine that helps partners adopt EMC technologies and its solutions and, and bring it to market, right? And, and be relevant in the, uh, the IT transformation discussion. So, Doug, you know, there's a bunch of financial aspects to what he was saying. Uh, we talk to customers, time to value is something that they say. Uh, you know, it's, it's always about moving faster and accelerating. You know, what, what's that mean in your world? What's going on in my world is uh, we're seeing one of the biggest shifts in how uh, end users uh, pay for IT assets. And, uh, you know, the, the market, you know, people are using terms like pay by the drip and consumption models and what have you. And uh, there's a very recent event that has accelerated that. And that's changed my world incredibly. Uh, because uh, there are some recently announced accounting changes that are coming uh, that are going to require that leasing, uh, all leases will eventually need to be on the balance sheet for the end user. So uh, our partners, uh, we're working to enable them uh, you know, because their phones are ringing with end users looking for usage-based models, and Avnet, uh, we knew this was coming, and years ago we developed a uh, consumption-based 
uh, master services agreement uh, concept called Capacity Now, which uh, we created from the ground up to solve around these issues that, that we knew were going to come faster than uh, most people expected. And uh, you know, uh, we feel that we've got uh, one of the most transparent, friendly versions in the marketplace uh, that's a, a true utility model. So if I, if I had to quickly describe it, think in terms of your cell phone bill. You go in, you pick out a handset, you say, uh, I want X giga data per month. If I go beyond that, I'm going to pay on a per gigabyte basis. Uh, the cool thing we're doing, uh, you know, somewhat uh, our secret sauce is uh, several years ago, uh, we acquired uh, a software that allows us to convert measurement to billing in real time. So uh, our partners and users, like your cell phone bill, they can go into a portal, see how much they've used, see how much that's translating into uh, their cost on a monthly basis, and uh, it's, it's really an exciting time for us. Yeah, Doug, how much are customers benchmarking that against, say, public cloud as an example? We could kind of said there was traditional kind of CapEx, you, know, you buy it, you depreciate it, versus uh, that you know, on-demand world of the cloud. Th that, that's the comparison, that's what they're looking at, but uh, especially for, for customers that, uh, you know, they, they want it on-prem or they, they, they want their team to have their hands on the assets, um, that's a big consideration. And uh, you know, there's some other uh, financial aspects about the way uh, public cloud costs uh, uh, perform versus uh, a capacity now like product. So there's a lot that goes into it, but uh, you know, we're there to support our, our partners and have those conversations with their end users so everybody understands how it works. So John, let, you've worked with EMC for, for, for many years now. Yeah. Uh, with the Dell piece coming in now, uh, you know, what does this mean for the channel? You know, Dell and EMC both have had you know, changes in how they deal with the channel. You know, what, what's the vibe? What do you hear from your peers? Yeah. You know, what are some of the conversations you're having? Yeah, I, I would characterize it as, as there's, there's a certain amount of uh, anxiety for folks who uh, don't really understand uh, the integration. I think uh, David did a great job uh, during the keynote sessions to, to help folks really understand the fact is between EMC and Dell, it's, it's truly the best enterprise products company uh, on the planet going forward. I think from a, uh, our, what I'm hearing from our partners is that it's an opportunity, right? It's a bigger opportunity, a bigger slice to the pie that they would otherwise wouldn't have access to. So, so far at the show, at folks who've heard uh, the keynote message, um, I, I think it, it, they're much, I, I, I would describe it as that there's a certain level of anxiety that, that, that's been addressed and now it's about excitement and, and that's what we're seeing. All right, great. So you mentioned some of the executive meetings you have. Uh, give for our viewers that couldn't make it to the show. You know, what are they missing not being here? What's the Avnet presence? Uh, yeah. the, the the booth, the floor sure. sessions. <clears throat> I think um, if folks were were at our booth and and were able to see a couple of the uh, the solutions that we were developing. Uh, they would see our Isilon SD Edge solution that's part of the press release. What they will also see though is Unity uh, with Cloud Array punching out to a public cloud, right? So we're, we're trying to make the conversation of hybrid cloud computing and an EMC context real, right? So if you think about it, it was talked two days ago, we've got it functioning live real time in the booth and, and it, it's, it's a powerful message for us from an enablement perspective. Because what we do is we take what we do at our booth and then we use it for the rest of the year to train our partners, right, to how to get the conversation going. So we've got cloud pools, cloud array, cloud boost, all interacting with a public cloud. And in fact, you can get access to that, those clouds via our Avnet Cloud Marketplace. And that's pretty exciting. So, Doug, Doug, I'm curious, when I, when I think about some of the financial models, uh, one of the big shifts I've seen you know, in the recent few years is refresh cycles tend to be reduced. It's, you know, if you say public cloud, you know, what version are you running, you know, what thing do you have, it doesn't exist, you run on theirs. You know, any commentary you can give on, on that piece of it is how the financial tools help customers with keeping up on the latest technologies. Yeah, I'll say that over the last probably 15 years, um, there's been, a, a decrease in the uh, number of fair market value leasing uh, leases as the product that people use to manage those refresh cycles, largely because the soft cost content uh, had continued to rise. 
uh, with what we're doing uh, with capacity now enables our partners to support their customers to manage those refresh cycles uh, a lot more effectively um, just because of the way it performs as a, uh, a financing device. All right, so John, sometimes we come into these shows, there's a little bit of buzzword bingo, you know, software defined this, you know, super hyper converged that. Sure. Um, you know, what have been some of the things that have been top of mind conversations you've been having kind of, kind of from the technology standpoint? I know you made some new announcements, but which, which things are becoming real in, in your world? So I think uh, hyper converge is real. It, it's now very real and we're very excited with VxRail. Um, I think uh, in general there's, there's been a big market adoption. I think you've heard that from the EMC executives. Yeah, Wikibon's tracked that for right? uh, a few years now, <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're, um, we're pretty excited. I think the next uh, market opportunity that is being spoken about now that represents uh, the opportunity over the next 12 to 18 months is, is just that, software defined. I think there's, there's a lot of buzz, a lot of talk, but it's about how do you get those solutions to be consumable in an easier method, right? And, and that's where Avnet's looking to add the value of, of bringing those, whether it be from an appliance perspective or, or through a cloud consumption model. Yeah, uh, yeah a, a term we've used a lot over the last year or so, it's, it's frictionless. Um, so, you know, Doug, Doug, any final things you want to say about just the, the way that the consumption model can be reduced, and especially, it sounds like financial things, customers must have, you know, do I really need to learn all these? Do I need, you know, a full night financial advisor to help me with this? That, that's the challenge. They're, yeah. they're, they're hearing of all, you know, a variety of models in the marketplace, and, uh, you know, the reason why I'm having so much fun in my job today is I'm, I'm out there helping them understand uh, you know, what the challenges are, what the red flags are, the things to worry about, and, uh, and, and helping customers standardize on a single contract that could essentially cover everything in their data center. All right, John, want to give you the last word, uh, you know, big takeaways from the show, uh, you know, bring us home. Thanks, I, I would say that the, uh, the biggest takeaway for our partners is the fact that uh, with the Distributor of the Year Award, it validates the work that we do, and it validates the fact that our partners are growing faster than the marketplace. Um, and if you're not an Avnet EMC partner, you ought to consider being one. All right, uh, any, any name change you have to have to the partnership uh, with Dell Technologies going forward? Uh, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> John and Doug, really appreciate you coming, showing in, and congratulations again on the Distributor of the Year Award. We'll be back here, uh, getting close to the end of three days of live coverage here from EMC World 2016. You're watching theCUBE. <laughs>